well guys on today's tutorial we want to look at how to take off quantities of a bridge and if you can see we have a bridge here we have our section dd the bridge is quite not clear but i'm going to il illustrate the details of the bridge and you can see this is our section dd and then we have on the bottom so this is how the bridge looks like we have the top here we have the slab and then we have the beams we have the columns that is 500 by 300 millimeters column and then this is our ground level it's 1500 up to the bottom of the column base and then our column base is 2000 by 2000 and then by 350 millimeters rcc and then we have mass concrete which is 75 millimeters thick the column base is 350 the height from here up to here is 500 5500 and then the beam is it has a thickness of 500 and then here is also our top ground level and then we have we have this wall rcc 200 millimeters rcc thick wall and then we have the reinforcement and then we have 200 millimeters thick concrete with granite finish and then we also have the the reinforcement on the on the wall now this is how the plan looks like so these are our columns here 500 by 300 columns and then we have our beams these are our beams 500 by 500 rc beams we also have beams these ones 500 by 300 millimeters rc beams six meters center to center and then we have the dimension from here up to here is 2200 up to this center then from here up to here is 6000 and then from here up to here is 2002 200 and then the same on top here we've been shown in 600 and this one is 600 and then the bridge is to be constructed during dry season and then the total length of the season or river is 36 meters and then we have 100 millimeters 100 millimeters wide road marking now we start with taking off the quantities so we are going to take off the quantities we are going to use the smm so we are going to start with the excavation we excavate and then we go to preparation we prepare where we are going to put our concrete our columns and then we go to mass concrete we go to the concrete in the base we do the columns we do the beams and then we are going to do the the slab so we have items that you need to measure we have excavation disposal preparation concrete works placing auxiliaries fillings so let's start with excavation as our item number one now we need to get the depth of excavation so we are going to excavate from this point here downwards so we are going to take 1500 plus 350 plus 75 so that is going to be our depth and then we are going to excavate where we are going to have our column so the base is 2000 by 2000 so that is our base and then we are going to count the number of columns that we need we have how many one two three four five six we have six columns so we are going to book that the, the size is 2.0 by 2.0 by if we add this one is going to give us 1.93 and there are six we excavate for the foundation and then the same same material we are going to have it being disposed so we say material for for disposal and then we go to preparation so when you talk about preparation what we have excavated here the base is what we are going to prepare so we have excavated a length of 2.0 and a width of 2.0 by 6 we are going to prepare the services other than topsoil rocks or artificial hard material so anything else we are going to also need to to prepare we go to in situ concrete so we are going to have our concrete in the in the columns here so we are going to take we are going to take the we need the concrete in the mass in the base for the blinding so we need the column the best size that is 200 2000 by 2000 and then our depth for the mass concrete is 75 this one here so we are going to book that one 
So we have 2.0 by 2.0 by, this is 0 0.75, 0 0.075. So we round it off to 0 0.08. And then there are six. And then we say provision of concrete, ordinarily prescribed mix for structural concrete, cast to BS12, 20 millimeters aggregate. So if you go to the F, the SSM, yeah, the Civil Engineering Standard Method of Measurement, you're going to find it in clause F113. And then we go to the mass concrete. So our mass concrete, we need the, we need to find the the thickness. So it's in the base. So the length is 2,000, the width is 2,000, the base is 300 and 350. So we book that one. So we have 2.00. And then two by 2.00 and then by 350, that is 0 0.35. Remember, there are six. And then you say provision of concrete, special prescribed mix for structural concrete cast to BS12, 20 millimeters, and it's found in F303. Now, once we've done that, we go to the columns. We need to put to, to cast concrete in our columns. So we are going to take the height. It's from here, from the bottom here, up to the top of the of the beam. So we are going to take 5,500 plus 500. So that gives us 600. And then the column size is 500 by 300. So we need the length, the width of the column, and the and the height of the of the column for us to be able to to take to take off those quantities. So our column size we've said is 5.0, that is 500, and then by 300, that is 0 0.30. The height you've seen is 55 plus 500, that gives us 6,000, and remember there are six. And then you say provision of concrete special prescribed for structural concrete cast to be as 12, 20 millimeters aggregate, and it's found in clause 5303. Now we go to the beams. For the beams, we have our beams here. We have this one. Let's start with these ones. That is 500 by 500. This is 500 by 500. This is 500 by 500. This is 500 by 500. And this is 500 by 500. Now we have also these ones. They are 300 by 300. This is also 300 by 300. And this is also 300 by 300. So we are going to book that one. But before that, we have these beams that are extending to this side and also to this side but we've not been given this measurement here those measurements and on the other side so we are going to assume we create a query sheet we ask ourselves what is the length of the of the projection of the bridge and then we say assume 1800 so we are going to assume that from this point up to this point is 1800 and also from this point up to that point is 1800, same as this point to this point is 1800, and also same as from this point up to this point is 1800. Now, so that these beams that are going this way, they are 500 by 500. So we are going to book the first 500 by 500, which are, have a length of 6000, and then we come and book the 500 by 500, which has a length of 1800. And now the length of the, 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 the vertical beams, which is 300 by 300 beam, will be, we need this length from here. We've been given from here up to here. So we even have the length is from here up to here is 6,000. 6,000, we had half of the the thickness, which is one, 300 by 2, that is 150. So we are going to have 150 here. And then we also had 150 here. So it's going to be 6,000. And then we subtract 150, 150. So we are going to subtract 6,000 from, we subtract 300. So that is going to give us 57, 5,700. So we book that one, 5.50, 5.50 by 6.6. Zero, zero. Remember, these ones are four, and then the five point three, five point zero point five zero by zero point three zero by five point seven zero. Remember, they are three, and then the ones that are projecting these ones here, we've said they are one, two, three, four, and then they are five zero point five zero by zero point five zero by one point eight zero. Remember, they are four, and then we say provision of concrete, ordinary prescribed mixed grade. C20 cast to BS12, 20 millimeters aggregate, F143. 